We are live. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Kate Carney. That's the teacher in me. I'm very much in a homeschooling vibe at the moment. So I was hoping everybody would respond, but as no one's there, not yet. I will continue making my gin and tonic then. Um, oh Lord, just pour it over the kids' CGP books. How are we? What are we doing this evening? What are we sipping? Someone said to me, someone said to me today, um, Kate, you sound like you constantly want to write a musical at the moment. And I think it's because I'm just kind of letting my inner, very well hidden singer out as a way of light relief from schooling. So how are we? What are we doing? What are we drinking? We are here chatting to our new friends at Gotland Gin. So we're streaming live on Gotland Gin's page. Lots of sip and share stuff. Let's just go with that. Lots of sip and share stuff. Um, as well as in our ever-growing membership group. How exciting. So if you are on, say hi, because I will see comments when they appear. Also, if you have any questions for our distiller this evening, please pop them in the thread. I mean, keep them kind of gin and spirit related. You know, maybe you don't go to the extremities of uh, gin and spirits, but please feel free to ask any questions as we go along. I have got, I have got my Gotland, got my Gotland, Quite a lot of damage has happened to that over the past week, as we can see. That's not a sign of my drinking habits. That's a sign of how good it is. So don't judge me. Judge the standard of the bottle. Hello, members. Hello. How are we? Hi, Karen. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Lorna. Um, I'm going to pop a few malingan berries in. We're going to have a chat about that. Not just my lingon berries. Do you eat your garnish, folks? Eat your garnish. Well, Gotland can see. There we go. A few of them in. And uh, let's get the Gotland team on. That told the kids, don't talk to me, love you both, but don't talk to mommy and say good night, just continue off to your bedroom. That was my instruction just a moment ago. What a good mother I am. Karen, you're saving it for the weekend. Oh, you are a brave and strong, admirable human. Well done. Uh, okay, let's speak to the people who are to blame for us all uh, having to spend beautiful money on beautiful gin, and they are here. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hi everybody. Hiya. <laughs> uh, now, are you drinking a Gotland? Of course. Yes. Doesn't it go pretty and brown? I'm gonna put mine in. Doesn't it go pretty and pretty and pink with those lingon berries in? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. um, it's certainly something we uh we we like about the lingon berries. Um, just adds a little bit of uh, uh theatre to uh your gin and tonic. Gorgeous. So. Where are you in the world, team? Tell us a bit about yourselves, Dawn and Mark, from Gotland Gin. Oh, that's Dawn, that is clearly a, you go, you, you do this. <laughs> well, obviously I'm Dawn and this is Mark and we're broadcasting to you from Gotland Gin. We like to call it Gotland Gin HQ, being both ex-military, both full careers in the military, Mark PT Corps, me, Royal Logistic Corps, and I'm still continuing now as a full-time reservist. Um, and we're in Devon. Just a little place called High Hampton. Oh, nice. High Hampton. I bet you are like famous. Are you infamous in High Hampton? Is it that small as everybody know you drinking it? <laughs> they do. Um, but it's a, a bit of an aging population in High Hampton. So we do have a few locals that absolutely love our gin, but there are quite a few that aren't on social media um, and don't right. drink gin. So this is, this, is, this is a safe space. <laughs> They're unlikely to be here. So we're all right with saying, Aging population, maybe not the biggest consumers of your quality premium spirit. Well, we, we we have got some we have got some really good local customers that keep coming back, so it's a good sign. It is. Yeah, a good sign. bottle so, sales. That's what we like with the bottle yeah. sales. Yeah, support um, has been amazing. Oh, good. And I think haven't you got some sort of bar on your premises? Like, haven't you got some sort of gin shack of dreams i've probably done a total injustice calling it a gin shack but haven't you got somewhere where people who if they're traveling around near you or you know obviously outside of lockdown or that jazz but um where you sell your spirit and they can come and drink have you got that we have a bolly bar named after one of our sheep called bolly because um quite a few of our gotland sheep have champagne names because i go on different themes so bolly was one of the first uh, shearlings born here she's still here she's actually in triplet at the moment um but the bolly bar was born long before gotland gin it was actually a, an anniversary present to ourselves at our 20th wedding anniversary so we could look out and look at the sheep and have a gin and that's obviously how the bolly bar started 
And when we started Gotland Gin back in August in 2019, I licensed the bar with the view to doing Gotland Gin experiences. Nice. Um, but when COVID came, obviously the experiences had to take a bit of a backseat. So we decided we'd just do a pop-up bar. And it went oh. absolutely bonkers. <laughs> So the sheep, the sheep were getting lots of attention from this pop-up bar. The experiences had to turn into just you guys, just you guys there enjoying the creation that you've made in the volley bar. Um, so what happens then? People, what, they rent it out? Do they just turn up? What, what's that? So, so yeah, what, what happened is um, it, it all started back in July and um, people couldn't go to the pubs. Um, so we just said, right, you can book it for your safe bubble of six. Um, so they put a deposit down, they turn up, and then they just have four hours um, drinking gin and tonics, champagne cocktails, um, you know, and we do fine wines and lagers as well, we, local, all local stuff. And, um, yeah, people get four hours just to enjoy themselves. They've got a nice little fire pit. They sit around the fire pit, keep warm, and it's got a lovely view of the rolling countryside right in front of you. So, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. I think by pretty much anybody's standard, lockdown, COVID or otherwise, that is a version of heaven that I think many people would uh, happily take up. So um, there's a lot more than four of us now, but I reckon at some point when we're traveling down the country from up here down to Devon, uh, an evening or an afternoon at your Bolly Bar sounds pretty much spot on, I reckon. Hopefully, um, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> So tell us, tell us about the gin then. Tell us about, um, uh, you, we've got a, I mean, sheep have already featured quite heavily, having spent <laughs> any time around sheep. I love the fact, Dawn, you've just said, Bolly is in triplet. I <laughs> don't know what that means. <laughs> She's got three lambs in her belly. <laughs> I love how you said uh, that. That would be my healthy assumption of that, so that's fine. So tell us a bit about uh, Gotland Gin then. When this started, describe the gin for us as well, please. Okay, so um, so the gin itself, obviously we're, we're breeders of Gotland sheep, and there aren't too many in this country. They're a Scandinavian breed of sheep, and they, they've got really nice fleece, and, and they're, they've produce very nice meat as well. Um, so we, we breed them and we would often go to agricultural shows and markets and sell some of the produce um, from the Gutland sheep, British wool. Um, but we also wanted something to draw people into uh, to, to our stall. And um, one, one evening after a day of working on the, on the farm, working with the sheep, we, we went into our bar just to relax. Um, we would have a gin and tonic. We would normally drink, drink a, a local gin and tonic. And Dawn just came up with the idea and says, why don't we make our own gin? And um, we had a chalkboard there in the bar and she literally wrote Gotland Gin with a big G on the chalkboard and it's still in the bar now. Um, and, and, that, and that was it. And then basically it was just experimenting from there, experimenting with lots of botanicals. We wanted a link with the Scandinavian sheep. Um, Hence the, uh, hence the lingam breeze and um, plus i love lingam breeze and i have them on my breakfast um you know and they're, and they're a super fruit as well so you can't feel guilty about drinking your I, love this. I feel like your your army personal training like fitness thing is coming through in your love of gin and lingam berries and the fact you put them on your breakfast i love that <laughs> that's a really yeah. nice story so that's so that's how it started and i can i i think i imagine many of us can picture the scene like sat there in the bolly shed thinking having the idea to come up with your own gin looking at the sheep thinking i wonder what we could do a lot of sheep here isn't there because <laughs> <laughs> i wanted no <laughs> to do and peak, what do people like sheep what do people like gin i know what we could do gotland gin i get it i like <laughs> i like that a lot so, Tell us about the botanicals that are in Gotland Gin and, and, and how long did it take you to land on the product that we've got now? Okay, so um, we, we started we started playing with a, uh, a two and a half litre still. Um, uh, you know, we had a little play with it. We um, made mistakes and um, so we actually went to a place called the Devon Distillery down near Totnes. Um, who make you know some fantastic gins themselves? Um, and we went down there and we met up with a, a lady called Kate Lamo, who's absolutely fantastic, knows her gins inside out. Had a discussion with her, and sat and 
created our, our gin with the botanicals that we, we wanted to use. Um, and then it sort of all was born from there. And we, we actually said to Kate, could she produce a, a whole run for us? Uh, so we contracted our first couple of runs out um, until we realized, you know, people do people like the gin? Are they interested? Um, and, um, and it just went mental. It just went mental from there. So we obviously invested in our own steel. We've got our own distillery running up now in, um, in one of our old sheep sheds. Which we used to lamb seven sheep in. Yeah. And now it's our, dis our nano distillery is in our seven lamb sheep shed. Now we've got a big sheep shed because we've got a lot more sheep. Sheep <laughs> out, get in, get it. <laughs> yeah, that's it, exactly. So yeah, and um, and it's very very small batch. It's very much a cottage industry, so it's all handmade. It's all hand labelled, hand bottled. So yeah, it's um, and we we produce about 120 bottles at a time, and that's and that's it. So so yeah. So how do you feel about? I mean, I don't want to compete with sheep versus gin. I don't, but I kind of do. Like, how do we feel now about the work you do? Which one comes first? And I know animals, and we've said this on yesterday, like the animals and the nature, that just the, the timings of the sunrise and sunset, that determines your day. But do, do which do you prefer, working on the land with the animals or distilling? Is there a, or are there two what? so different things you can't, you can't compare? Well, I um, I absolutely love them both. And I'm luckily enough to be kept by Dawn, who's doing a proper job. And um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm lucky enough to do both. And uh, I look after all the animals, including the chicken cake, and um, and and um, and I and I sort of distill the gin as well. Which um, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to do both, and um, I enjoy both equally. I it's really a very every, everything about the, you. Know, you just references with regards to the gin, but actually everything about what you guys do is very much hands on, isn't it? You 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 run you run a do you want to fight? Excuse me. Do you want to farm? Is it classed as a farm, or is it is it is a, is it a piece of land? How do, with sheep farming? How does it work? Yeah, it's a small. It's more of a small holding, really. Um, we're not we're not a, a full on commercial farm. Um, it's a it's, it's a select breed that there's not too many in the UK. Um, so so yeah, it's um, it's a it's a little niche niche market, but we hope to expand a, a little bit. And this is why we started the gin. Really, was to profile our breed a little bit more. Okay. They're not very well known in this country, um, so you know weavers and, and woolly type people love love the Gotland fleece. So so yeah, right. it's, um, so yeah, it's all good fun. But um, but yeah, the gin's just taken over. To be honest with you, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. What's 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 on your you know projector, your your roadmap? What's happening <laughs> next when it comes to gin? Because I reckon the sheep the sheep thing. I mean, is that pretty? Like set in stone, you know what you're doing with the sheep. You, you know you've been doing that for how long? Have you been doing the, the sheep farming on the small holding? Four years. Yeah, we've only been doing four years since I retired from the army, really. And how, um, so. how many sheep have you got on your land? We've got Ooh. fifty-four at the minute. We've got fifty-nine lambs on the way. Oh, anybody <laughs> with young children is like, when can we get down to Devon to see lambs? <laughs> Lambs will be born in the springtime because of the word spring lamb. <laughs> yeah. Here's, here's one for you, Kate. Your spring lamb that you eat in spring yeah. is, is, is actually born, born in Christmas. Christmas. There you go. Because they're ready to go then by spring. Yeah. Oh, I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> and you think I'm joking, but I'm rubbish. There's certain things I can't do, and, and sometimes conceptual <laughs> thinking or even lateral thinking throws me. So, what is next? Uh, you've, so, you've got this bottle, 70 centiliters. This is the one which, can I just make very, very clear, how well did this go down with members last and since? Brilliantly. It was yeah. Amazing. Like, amazing. It was a little bit crazy, wasn't it? And I know you very kindly gave us another little batch I think you said five I kind of might have given the numbers seven so I think there's seven <laughs> which one maybe for me um another seven bottles are still at that uh special price point that are still on the shop now so we've had a big influx of new members over the past week which is amazing um so yeah if you haven't got one already go 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 um so 70 centiliter bottle is that the only size you do at the moment do you do 50 no. do you Minutes. We do a, we do a half bottle, thirty five, and then we do a five centiliter bottle as well. Oh, oh have you got any minis around you? 
Have you got, have um, we, we ha I haven't, no, we've, um, li they're literally packed up, ready to go out. To, uh, uh, problem. You're too busy selling it. You're too busy selling uh, it. Yeah. Selling it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, and you've had, what, this is the label you've had from the beginning? Centra yes. Bollard? 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 Yeah. No, this is Daisy, and she's in Daisy. quad, actually. Yeah, <laughs> she's in quad. She's got four in her belly. Yeah. Oh, God, they're busy, you're she's <laughs> We've never had a quad before, but this year Daisy is in quad. Oh, that's it. Is that exciting or scary? It's we scary because they they only have two, obviously, milk and teats. So um, we will maybe <laughs> take them off and try and put them on a different sheep. Or if I she's a very good mum, we'll keep them and then we'll top them up with a bottle. Right. Can I just ask on behalf <laughs> of the members that we have, uh, what's her name? Daisy. We have a Daisy update at some point over the next couple of months. Like, we need to know, I mean, did she... Or how did the two teats work? We need that update at some point. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, um, what's the plan? Is there a plan? Are we doing any more gins? Are we are we changing anything? What's going on? So yes, we um, you know the, the label that you see on the bottle at the moment was very much a um, early early doors thing where we thought right that'll do. Stick it on the label. Let's go to let's go to market. Let's go to agricultural <laughs> shows. Um, and um, we didn't get to an agricultural show because COVID obviously hit. Um, so, uh, and then we just just didn't realise how popular the, the gin would be. Um, so we are like looking at, um, yeah, some people are saying like they like, like yeah. the label. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're rebranding, we're jazzing it up a little bit. We've um, given Daisy a little bit of colour. Oh, I love um, it. Still so, Daisy. It's Daisy still. Sticking Daisy's with Daisy. Daisy's staying. Daisy's, Daisy's the Daisy's the uh, she's she's the, she's the sheep. Oh, so um, so yeah, we're just going to try and uh, you know upgrade the label a little bit just to give it a bit of wow factor because we've had a, quite a few shops um, approaching us and asking to put it on their shelves. Um, and if, if it's going to be on the shelves of shops, then we need a little bit of wow factor there. So. Yeah, well, right. And I think it, what is absolutely fair to say, and <clears throat> you know, I'm doing I do marketing and branding and whatnot, is we always want to look as good as we are on the inside. That's the most important thing, that we look, we're amazing in the middle. Let's just, you know, let's just pimp Daisy up, give her a brush her hair a bit more, a bit of colour. <laughs> How do all of the other sheep feel about Daisy being on the front? And yeah, on just don't, we don't tell them. Well, right. The thing is, they're all very friendly sheep, because when people come, we can obviously get them up in the bucket, and they are very tactile. That's why I fell in love with Gotland sheep, because not just about the wool and the pelts and the meat, um, but they're just really soft and you get in and they'll come up to you and jump on you and nibble at you and they're just lovely sheep and um, so when people come all the time especially with the bars and stuff because obviously with COVID now they're like in their space and we're in our space but they we can get the sheep up to the fence and they just love it and they're all taking pictures and they're just gorgeous sheep but yeah Daisy is um we're always picking out Daisy um and Bolly because obviously Bolly after the bar as well so um I don't know if you know about sheep but obviously sheep Sometimes have a tendency to die, so I must keep <laughs> Daisy alive. <laughs> the first things at some point do. I was just going to ask you, completely like quite a random question: How long sheep live for? So we, we're kind of investing quite a lot in Daisy here. I mean, to be honest, though, if Daisy did die, maybe she doesn't. Um, nobody would know that. That no. No. no, she's 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 a legend. She'll live on. We, yeah, on. I'm, I'm sure she'll be fine, but it, it is a worry sometimes. <laughs> so, so we're having a little bit of a freshen up, label wise. Bottle, same bottle, bottle change. Same bottle. Yeah, same, same bottle. bottle. Same bottle. Bottles in it. That is a whole yeah. shebang. Well, um, we love our we love our bottle, and we love the glass stopper as well. The vanilla so. touch. Yeah. Yeah. We like the bottle, strong bottle, strong shoulders, good place on the shelf, good for stacking as well. Not, you know, in a shop scenario, not on my, on my shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the label, label bit of a refresh. Um, ingredients, are you changing anything? If you've got any more in the pipeline, anything else that you're thinking about? Um, um, about any new botanicals, taking anything out? Anything else? No. Well, with Gotland Gin, we're, is, it is what it is. We're, keeping it exactly what it is. We're keeping the same suppliers for all our botanicals and uh, especially our linden breeze, which play a big part of, of, of the gin itself. Um, we have got other gins in the pipeline, which we um, 
over the next 12 months. Um, we're not going to rush into them, but um, we're thinking of a, a navy strength um, and also uh, a, a blood orange gin as well. So, so now, that's what we're... You know what, you've already experienced what the Sip and Share members are like in terms of like, oh my God, what's going on? So we just <laughs> tell them that, like, let's just keep completely stunned. Um, but that's very exciting. And I guess the beauty is you still have your two and a half litres still, I guess, so you can just play. That's the beauty. That's right. Yeah, we've had a we've had a few uh, practice sessions already the last few weekends. And um, yeah, it's just great fun playing. And, you know, and that's what it's all about. You know, when you stop enjoying it, then, then it's game over. It's just about having fun. Um, and if you produce something that everyone likes, then it's an absolute bonus. So, yeah. Great. Dawn, is this an accurate representation? You get back from a hard day at work. You basically find Mark sat in a field with Dolly and da Bolly and Daisy with his two and a half litre still with the heads he's cut it and he's just trying it out and he's maybe got the music on in the Bolly shed. That's <laughs> how I would live my life. <laughs> um, that, that, that doesn't sound dissimilar to Gotland Gin HQ, um, but we have a rule when Mark's distilling that he's not allowed to drink neat gin without water, because obviously I have found him a little bit squiffy at times when he's tasting it, obviously to get the cuts right, because uh, he's distilling at like 80% alcohol before he brings it down, so it, it's um, it's quite interesting sometimes, but yeah, generally it's um, it's lovely when I come home, and, and we're, we're both... Um, full of ideas and we just want to obviously we want lots of local people and people further afield yeah. to be interested in what we do and and drink our gin absolutely <laughs> cheers 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 to that and mark cheers. i would say as long as you don't put it in a glass the old tasting it from the still don't count yeah no absolutely <laughs> I, I i did start with a little copper i had a little copper cup and I used to just take a little copper cup, but I've started using my finger now. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, it was just, just too much. <laughs> I love when the taste of it when it comes out. It's when you start putting a glass <laughs> underneath it, when you just think, mm, maybe that's a bit too much. I should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so we've got some exciting things in the pipeline, enjoying experimenting. Daisy's going to have four babies. We'll see how the teeth work. <laughs> um bolly is famous and still fine the gin the gin the bolly what's it called the bolly cut? bolly bar bolly bar yeah oh, oh, hot. <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> discredit <laughs> completely it's a bolly bar the bolly bar i guess as soon as we can do something you can do something right as soon as we can take a step out people can can they i mean could they book in advance do they do that Yes. Yeah, we've already got bookings um, for for when we um, when we're back to normal. They, they've already got bookings um, which they've already paid a deposit for. So so yeah, it's um it's just unbelievable. The it's, sport's fantastic. It's always booked up. So if you're coming to Devon, do book in advance. Give us a ring, and if you're a Sip and Share member, obviously let us know, yes. and we'll make sure we can rearrange things and <laughs> and do it for you. Hopefully, um, but yeah, it's it's always a very busy little bar isn't it and a, and a big shout out to louisa is it your your friend that came yes. to visit us at Gym? and told us all about you yeah without her we wouldn't be here uh, talking yeah. to you now i'm sure she so. was gossiping oh, to yeah. you and then she was gossiping to me i think she was whatsapping messaging me as she was walking away from you going oh my god oh my god oh my god you've got it i've, I've told gotland Jean about you and you need to know about them and look at what <laughs> you are now so how exciting yeah so massive thank you to louisa for making that happen um so Let's finish on when are the sheep going to have their babies? When will our mini Gotlands come along? First week of March. And actually, we're getting Wi Fi in the next couple of weeks because we did talk about doing something down in the distillery and the sheep tonight, but obviously, we can't because we've only got 4G down there. But we are getting CCTV fitted and we're going to get Wi Fi. So um, basically, when Lamin starts, we could maybe set up something with you, Kate, and then we'll be able to do it in the Lamin shed. I, I mean, I'm in it for you guys and the gin, but the lamb, I like the like of seeing a small Gotland sheep, I'm absolutely up for that. Um, <laughs> Danny says, pictures of sheep puppies, please. I think they're called lambs. I mean, I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> sheep puppies. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, so we have got 
Uh, seven, I don't know if my phone is being or not because I've got it silent. Seven bottles left at that uh, little special offer that you have kindly given us an exclusive offer. So for Sip and Share members. So if you're not a member, come on board, get the gin. If you're a new member, what are you waiting for? Get on the shop. Um, and then we will look forward to seeing what new, what new pictures. Maybe we could show members your new image when it comes on. Get them. Yeah. yeah well, we'll get you to launch it, Kate. We'll, oh, get you, we'll get you to launch it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting lots of love. Um, <laughs> Karen, that sounds like we're getting a mini bus. Yes, we will. Um, <laughs> Fab Jane, really. Uh, don't tempt me anymore. Sorry, Taya. That's the whole thing. Right, so thank you so much. Anything else we need to know about Gotland Gin before we let everybody crack on with their drinking and their Wednesday evening? Well, I think it's just time to um, time to have a drink, and um, we just want to say a massive thank you to all of the Sip and Share members. Um, yes, uh, you've been fantastic support, and um, you know, drink up, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you down in Devon soon. Yes, yes. welcome anytime. Oh, don't say that for the other one. <laughs> and just to all the other people that are on our page that are watching that aren't members of Sip and Share, we just want to tell you about Sip and Share because if you like gin. You'll love Sip and Share and you'll be able to support lots of other distillers just like us. Oh, thanks, team. All right, right. Well, cheers to that. We'll say bye to everybody then. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Happy, Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining cheers. us. Bye. -bye. bye.